for week 187, it's going to be Vampire Dormitory Episode 6! <laughs> Why not make up episode, pero let's get into it. Pace! Yung pacing niya... Uh, it's quite moderate. Uh, why, why did I, what did I mean by this, guys? Because... Um... Uh, it went through a um it went through a quarrel phase then some some hilarious moments do i have complaints guys nope i don't have i don't have the right to complain about this uh this episode spacing right um for me it was moderate yeah, it's not that uh it's not that strong enough to become balanced but uh, it was it was it was quite a right right that's all I can say about the pacing. It was quite a ride. Flow naman. First gear shift was when Juri and Takara took Mito, uh, took Mito to hang out with them. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but this is the one that um, this uh, it, it was rightful as a um, uh, as an opening sequence because this is the one that actually triggered the episode. Okay. It set off the entire. Ep it set off the um. It set off the pacing of the entire episode. Second gear shift was when uh, Mina visited Ruka in the cafe. Yung uh, yung uh, ahala ni Mito na na may gusto sa kanya na girl from the, from uh, from the all girls school. This is the gear shift that uh, that set off the chain of events leading to. Uh, leading to the kiss, the kiss and makeup between Ruka and Mito. Third and final gear shift, guys, was when Mito uh, saw the cake Ruka made for him. Ruka made for her. This is the hallelujah moment of this episode. Now, what, that's, that's what gear shifts do, guys. They can also change the complexion of, a, of an episode storyline. Pero, guys, would it be enough for you to totally appreciate this episode? Will these three gear shifts be totally enough? I'm sorry. If I got to repeat myself a million times, I would do it. It doesn't work that way. Watch the episode from start to finish. Blood lies. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a drink. We have flashback sequences, Tito. Pero... Uh, totally negligible and I don't have to explain them. Therefore, Malinis sa blood, guys! I mean, come on! Maglalagay pa ba kayo ng ibang side story or backstory dito? E eh, nagkatapuan nga yung dalawang main pro tag. The audience needs to feel the sadness. Eh, and the, um, uh, the sadness, the anger, the longing. Right? So, to put in a side story, backstory, or even an explainer would uh, would totally ruin the entire episode storyline. So, in order for the audience to appreciate the storyline, you need a clean plot. And, yep, superbly clean plot, guys. Ang uh, ang uh, ang itatawag ko sa episode nato. Right, superbly clean plot. So, pace, flow, and plot. Yep, they all came. They all came together for this episode, folks. And what, what a cool follow-up to episode five. 